All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. Uh, for our first of two dinosaur decks today, we're going to start with some Naya dinosaurs. So we've been playing the Gruel dinosaurs. You may have seen um, us playing that. We've had a couple of Gruel dinosaur uh, videos here recently uh, where Gruel dinosaurs is a real aggressive deck where we have like our two mana acceleration creatures uh, that give our dinosaurs haste and we're trying to um smash down our opponent real quickly this version is going a lot bigger even though it's the same dinosaurs and it's trying to play a later game so we'll see how this version kind of works out we have like our our lava coils and deafening clarions for early removal um especially the clarions we want to be killing like the uh the lower cost creatures and then we don't have any creatures of our own that die to deafening clarion except for i guess the register alpha token but you know uh, we also have the Thunderherd migration for ramp. We got the treasure maps uh, to help us smooth our draw steps out and, and get a lot of mana in the late game. And then basically in our late game, we're going to be you know playing our awesome dinosaurs and also having our Vivians that get us a whole lot more dinosaurs and just kind of have the, a parade of dinosaurs there. Um, we got the Arch of Araska that if we have too many lands, we get to draw more cards also. So we're trying to go real big here. Um, sideboard, we got Honor Guards for this ultai matchup. We got Cinder Vines for uh, the Wilderness Reclamation decks. And then we have another Clarion for aggro, uh, Binding for like Drake's uh, kind of thing, couple Settles for uh, also for Sultai, um, for other creature aggro decks, and some Bane Fires for control since we can get a lot of mana with this deck thanks to the treasure maps. So that's what we got. We'll see how it works. Um, I'm not sure this will be better than, than Gruel Dinos. In fact, I, I probably think the Gruel Dinos is, is probably a little bit better version, but you know, like like trying out different things. So here we go, Naya Dinos. And then after this, as you can tell, we're gonna be playing the Gruel Dinos uh, to kind of compare and contrast. All right, we're not playing first. Hmm. Yeah, we got turn two treasure map. We can keep. Would you say that uh, Takali is mandatory in the sideboard right now if you're playing white? No, I wouldn't say it's mandatory if you're just playing white. And, you know, depending on the deck um, as well, I do think, you know, it kind of depends on, on the deck that you, that you have as well. But I wouldn't just say that, that if you're playing a deck with white that Takali Honor Guard is mandatory. It is good against Sultai, but it's not like it's lights out. It's not like you win the Sultai game because you have it. Um, you know, they have a lot of cards that are, they still get to play even uh, without it. The movie was awesome. I really I really enjoyed Captain Marvel. I thought it was really well made and everything. Glad, glad I got to go see it. Um, Le'Veon Bell to the Jets. Um, not really. I don't have too many thoughts about that. You know, of course, I wish the Steelers got more for the Antonio Br Brown trade. But, I mean, Bell has been gone, basically, for, from the Steelers for, you know, over a year now since he held out. So, I, I don't know very much about the Jets. I don't know, like, their situation that much because I'm just, you know, kind of getting back into football uh, this past year. Yeah, Connor has been real impressive. Uh, he was he was real impressive last year, for sure. Yeah, no problem, Sam. That's what that's what I'm here for. Always here for uh, questions. Man.
I don't think we're winning this one. These electrostatic fields. Eh. All right, get another Clarion in there. Clarion's gonna be pretty important because even like the the Life Link, that's like another good part about the, the deck is not only the damage is good, but this deck can really use the Life Link, well. I guess I probably want these bindings. I don't know. No. I'm just gonna take out a Vivian for that Clarion and just try to <clears throat> just try this again. I guess I don't really like the treasure maps. Maybe I should sideboard out the treasure maps. I don't think our opponent's gonna have Chain Whirler with having the electrostatic field. But even so, I guess... I guess Honor Guard is just a, a fine blocker. <clears throat> I, I'll probably bring in Honor Guard in, on the draw instead of the treasure maps. All right, Brontodon. I'll still take the two for one. Riptar Raptor is awesome in this matchup. Today was rough in Arena. I played Esper and I kept queuing against Mono Blue. So then I switched to Blue and kept queuing against Mono Red. Uh, just one of those days, huh? Sorry to hear that, Dirk. Those days happen for sure. And yeah, it's rough. All right, and Clarion basically wins this game. Draws us a card. Gives our rip draw life link. Kills their two things. We're going to game three. Yeah, I like it. Hey Joy. Yep, gotta support the Naya. It's still dinosaurs. It's not gruel, but. I uh, talked about like the you know like the the differences there earlier on and I think I think Gruel is probably a better deck than Naya uh for for how I have these the the uh the Gruel deck how it's built and how this Naya deck's built I think the Gruel is probably better but it's, it's a nice compare and contrast here Yeah treasure maps just too slow so I guess I'll just play these honor guards Um yeah, I'll go to a third binding I definitely need enough removal for Steamkin. I haven't seen Frenzy yet, but I, I kind of want to keep these. I guess Binding gets rid of Frenzy also. So yeah, that, that can get rid of a Vivian. Alright, maybe we just don't play Vivian. Uh, the Gruel Dinos list is on my Stream Decker page in there. Uh, you have to kind of look for it a little bit, but it's in there. And that's... Uh, Joyv's Gruel, Gruel deck, uh, Gruel Dino's deck that we were playing, and it's pretty fun. And that's what we're going to be playing after this. Um, I 
We just can't keep that first one, even though I want to. We just can't do it. Hmm. Coil. Coil that thing. Honor Guard just dies to Deafening Clarion, which is kind of the problem playing Honor Guard, but oh well. I did tr try the Abzan Angels with Explorer Shell, uh, and just felt like it was just a worse version of Sultai. Okay, I like, I like Coil. I do kind of want to play the Brontodon, but I think just Coiling this thing. Maybe I should be playing the Brontodon. Puts me down to eight. Let's keep you back in case there's a Haze creature. The one damage Honor Guard deals isn't super relevant. Hey, there's a haste creature. Look at that. I'm just I'm just in for just doing the life link. Cause if I deal three damage to each creature, um, then they could have like a shock or a lightning strike and kill my ripjaw before the Ripjaw deals damage. Hey, Deafening Clarion gained five life. I'll take it. Really wanted to land, really wanted to play Regisaur Alpha, because that's seven power that could be lifelink. Now we're only playing three power. Three is a whole lot less than seven. For those of you that like math. Hey, what's up, Wagner? Yeah, day is going good. Can't ever complain. Streaming all day. All right, now we'll go ahead and deal the three. They're tapped out. They can't kill the Brontodon in response. And we're killing three creatures now. Yeah, Vraska Tribal is basically Golgari midrange uh, with some janky Vraskas at the top end. And ended up taking it down there. So we're, we're wanting to be able to kill our opponent next turn. Uh, you know, a second Reggie should be a lot of large haste creatures. Is there any reason to leave anything back? So they, they block four, four, and three. Yeah, they have to block all those. They go to one. Uh, they could just shoot me down to seven with Firebrand. So no, no reason to hold anything back.
It's kind of good news for us that whenever we, whenever they had the uh, risk factor, and I, I let them draw three cards instead of taking the four, it seemed like they drew a lot of creatures. Did they kill us? No, it didn't quite get there. One to one. The old one to one. GG. That was a close one. That was real close. All right, want to know? Deafening Clarion was awesome. Easy mulligan with the one lander there. Um, I do need a second green source. I need lands. Red again. Red black again. Red black's different. Hmm. I would say Phoenix would be tough, but, you know, we got Nixalon's Binding for it. What a clutch draw that was. What a great draw step. Riptar Raptor is very good against Gruel Spellbreaker. I think that that matchup lines up pretty well for us. I think I want to start getting. Vraska, or sorry, Vivian going. Every fight makes me stronger. The wilds are my shield. Status statue. That's not good. Squirrels hit harder. I've seen things that would break someone like you. I have a feeling that Vivian's seen a lot of things. Oh, I probably should just lava cool. Sorry, I, I kind of double. Uh, double tasking, uh, dual tasking. I probably should just coil that Phoenix and play Ripjaw there instead of the Carnage Tyrant. Be able to keep the Vivian alive, potentially. Trade this for both Spellbreakers. Or just those. I was thinking the, the two Spellbreakers, because the Pelt Collector would have grown to be a 4-4, grown, grown four, four, with like the 3-3 three, three dying and then the 4-4 four, four dying. But they chose to get the 3-3. Three, three. Um, kind of want to just play another one of these. They are all about them spellbreakers. I 
Attack! Vivian's the last survival of her plane. She saw Bolas disintegrate her plane and her spark ignited, and she was going to be obliterated with the plane itself, and her arc bow carries the souls of the animals of her plane. Wow, that is all those spellbreakers. That is all four spellbreakers. So she really has seen a lot. All right, we'll trade with our entire board. Hit him down, hit him one. Their battlefield's gone. They have one card in hand. And we have more dinosaurs. Yeah, dinos have been working out pretty well. All right, so settle, like set, like this is like a match for settle, right? Like they're just a bunch of creatures. But the problem is, is Gruel Spellbreaker. Gruel Spellbreaker is saying, you know, says no to settle. Hmm. What do y'all think? Should I settle? Maybe one settle. Just hope they don't have Spellbreaker. Yeah, they have the Whirler Death Touch combo. Which is a problem. There's not much I can do about that. I mean, I could Honor Guard, but... Do they have other removal for Honor Guard? I guess they have, like, statue and stuff. Honor Guard stops Pelt Collector from growing. Hmm. Maybe one Honor Guard. Coil and Strike. Bleh. It's a lot of things. Bane fires against contr against control decks with a bunch of counter spells. You know, it can't be countered when it's big. Keep it. Um, I do need a land. It's not like the best land, but I mean, I think I just like land. I only have three lands right now. So we have like the migration on turn two. Um, all right, I need to make a Grixis mid range thing here. Reveal that dinosaur card. Grixis. Sorry, one second. All right, uh, let's get Lebronsodon out there. 
Need to dunk on some pelt collectors. This is not really working for me. Ever seen water burn? Not working for me. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Alright, that's good enough. And Grath. Alright, sorry, I'm back. And Grath. Well, I don't think we can just sit here and like take more damage and everything. Uh, you know, the Angrath's gonna be dealing two to us. So let's just go ahead and no kind of waste this no lava coil, steel. you know, like. No fire, no steel. Okay, we need your help. We're getting Angrath, the scary Minotaur pirate. Good job, Hawkeye. Already got a really good draw step. One for one with Hawkeye here on good draws. Shiver my horns and hammer. Burn it down. Good job, Hawkeye. No fire, no steel. Hmm. You're gonna need to make sure Angrath dies. Even though we're taking three and 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 everything. Ah, I'll have you in chains next time. I think I just have to have Angrath dead. All right, next game. Um, they have Remodi Reveler, Pelt Collector, and Chain Whirler. It is a lot of things that Honor Guard stops. But Honor Guard does get swept up, though. Well, like in my Clarions, Honor Guard Clarion isn't isn't great. I uh, don't don't want to play Banefire at all. Take out a migration for a second honor guard. Let's do that. Yeah, there was a whole lot of whole lot of floods there in that match. Our side, opponent side also, they had a lot of lands. This is another a lot of lands again. Hopefully we'll draw spells. It's kind of like taking out the the treasure maps hurt here. And honestly, maybe that's just bad bad sideboarding. Maybe I should just not be taking out the treasure maps. 
in this matchup. Ripjaw! Dang. Okay, I need your help to get a Ripjaw. Hmm. It's not a Ripjaw or anything else. It's just more lands. Just even more lands. The problem with, like, Settle is, is like, an okay card. The The only problem with Settle, of course, is Gruel Spellbreaker. If it wasn't for Gruel Spellbreaker, I'd be all in on the Settles. So it looks like they have their Chain Whirler combo. So at least that's not killing my binding. It's honestly not the worst thing ever. We do get to binding and clarion here. So we could get to reset the board. And we have the the Arch of Orozco if this goes long. That's it, nothing else. No, not a spellbreaker also. Uh Man, our deck really flooded out the last two games. I need that Clarion. No Clarion. Man, talk about a flood those last two games. I guess that's that could be my fault for just taking out Treasure Map, you know? Taking out Treasure Map makes it so like that can happen. <laughs> Maybe they'll get lost in our pastures. We have so many lands. Maybe they won't find us. We can just hide in the middle. Let's see, one and one. Uh, Duffers asked why I don't play ranked, and it's because I think the this format of you know entry fee and everything works well with uh, all the various stream decks that I play, and so I think it's a a good format for the stream. Nothing else? No spells? No lands? Just pass? Fire mines research. This will kill that. It will also kill our opponent, though, too. Lannery Storm. Hmm. I can't say I really know what's going on here. Yeah, they have to be ramp. Yeah, this could be a storm deck. 
And they're ramping up for the storm, but like, if this is like a thousand year storm deck, and they just kept a one lander. I'm not so sure about that. But this does go good in a storm deck, right? Like you know, it's on, it's on theme. Yeah, storm, storm deck. Do I want to pop this Bronzedon to kill the, the research? Or do I want to have Vivian kill the research? I guess I'll pop. And start slamming Carnage Tyrants. There you go. That's a good card. All right, using one treasure for a tyrant. Because that's that's basically why I popped it with that, because I wanted the Carnage Tyrants to be coming out here. These tyrants are pretty good. It is shocking me. What's the point of that shock? Um, nothing really to change about the deck right now. I wouldn't say. I want to play a little more, but um, with it, we have we have this treasure for white mana. All right, so they have Crackling Drake also. So they're not just a thousand year storm deck. They got Crackling Drake. Kind of don't know what's going on, but I don't think I want Deafening Clarion. So that's going to come on out for Ixalan's Bindings, which do seem pretty good. Uh, Cinder Vines, I suppose, could be good. Gets rid of that enchantment at the very least. And let's try this. I could see playing Banefire. I'll go with this. Yeah, this was this was a deck that that I had from last format that I just updated. Um, that's true. My opponent doesn't realize that we're playing white. That's true. We didn't play a single white land or white spell. Now there's a white land. Thunderheart migration with treasure map is a little awkward at times. Like I've played games like where I I don't want lands and I have like treasure map scrying lands to the bottom kind of thing. Uh, here I do want lands, so I'm going to be playing the treasure map to try to scry lands. That's all. It's also fine. Um, and then, like, I draw it, but, like, I'm scrying lands to the bottom, and then I draw, it, you know, Thunderherd Migration, and I have to cast it and, like, reshuffle back in some lands, and it's annoying. Not having that flood problem this time. Unfortunately, that ended up a really good turn for insight for them because we, you know, couldn't have any threat to play, so we had nothing to play, even though they tapped out. Unfortunately. Yeah, 
Hey, Jaybird. Hmm. Let's see what you got. Binding. You win some, you lose some, then you repeat the Looks experience. like this is just as a control, so you know, maybe not just like Storm. So like a card like Niv Mizzet could be showing up here that could be really problematic. Come on, land. Hooray! All right, let's get Vivian out there. Vivian's gonna be difficult for my opponent to deal with. Would you like to see what's left of Scala? <laughs> we did have a we do have a backup and a backup backup, Vivian. Oh, that's a good point. They probably wouldn't discard the mountain if they had uh, Niv, but we we saw the crackling Drake last turn. Our last game. The wilds are my shield. Don't have to worry about a counter spell here. It's also good because like Cinder Vines, while Cinder Vines is a decent card to play, we don't get to like double spell with it at all. Um, we only have the one red source, so we can only play like just Cinder Vines or just Coil or just Regisaur Alpha. Uh, so I like playing the Tyrant here. Vivian can hopefully find us another red source. Uh, we're gonna play like Alpha plus Lava Coil or Vines or something like that. Okay, a so weird you've got deck claws. our opponent's playing. Bunch of blue and red cards. Bunch of random blue and red cards. No, there's there's just not a good board wipe for Simic Adapt. That's just a weakness in the deck. Meet my newest friend. <laughs> nice Zerf. This is just is it pile, or more accurately, is it even a deck? This is a perfect Dino song, perfect Reggie song, getting that Zeppelin. <laughs> I, was, I was reading what Zerf said. I love that. That wasn't me. Uh, is Grixis midrange ready to go up on YouTube? Yes, it is. Let's hit this publish. Nezahal? What the heck is that thing doing? Ah, most wounds can heal. Come to me. The fight to the dinosaurs. But another Reggie makes it so we have too much haste power. Have it, even if they block Carnage Tyrant, we have exactly 11. I was going to uh, pre-combat coil um, their thing anyway. So that was some dino stuff. All right, we are 2-1. and one. We won the dino mirror. The blue dinosaur was not as good as the... Green and red dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, we have some new emotes. Pretty new emotes. Um, 
They're all about about three weeks or maybe a month old by now. Question is, how strongly would you say the surprise factor of an off-meta deck helps you win these games? It definitely doesn't hurt, but I I don't think it's a huge percentage thing. Um, I think it could be like... Like, I, I wouldn't say it's like 5%. I'd say it's less than 5%, probably. Um, so, yeah. I guess that's what I would try to bookmark it at. Gates. Gates is gonna go pretty big. They're doing like, you know, we're like both go big decks, but they go like real big. We do have like a, a good amount of enchantment removal in our 75. Mm, I want this card. All right, whatever. I'm keeping it. We just need to hit land drops for the rest of the turns. But we have hasty Registrar Alpha to hasty Carnage Tyrant. Like, our, our treasures help. These things flipping help. It's a great start for the opponent. Yeah, you can find the playlist on Spotify right there. Exclamation point playlist. That gets you there. Oh, no. Uh, let's try again. Land. Oh, no. Whew. Made it. Barely. That right, about, right between your two things, Tasty. That's that's the link right there between your two messages. All right, so we are going to be, gosh, we are going to be flipping the treasure map this turn. Yeah, no problem. Man, our opponents had an awesome hand. We have four lands. They more than double that right now. And they basically, basically, yeah, they more than double that by two, and they basically have double the cards in hand. Close to that also. Crazy. Got the land. So I can go Reggie and start attacking or Vivian and kill their summit. Which I guess I'm doing that. I could go Vivian and start ticking up and trying to get to ultimate. To be contained. Does like killing the summit really matter anymore? Honestly. The big problem with like killing the summit is then if they play, play a huge crisis, I'm just kind of like dead to the huge crisis kind of thing. I don't have like the Vivian minus. No one knows the wilds like I do. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I wonder if it's even worth removing the enchantment. Just trying to go towards Vivian Ultimate. It's kind of what I want to be doing. So 
They're playing Nexus Gates. Which means that we're just dead. No, unfortunately, Nexus is not banned. Unfortunately. Yeah, we'd have to, like, Lava Coil plus Bronzodon to get rid of a Colossus if that was a thing. Just... The terrible part about having treasures in play. I have to ask you about every single thing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve gates already in play. So the opponent probably doesn't have that many more gates in their deck. What if Krasis is their only win con? Like, what if I Ixalan's binding a Hydroid Krasis? What if we find Ixalan's binding? You can't stop nature. Whoops. I need to minus this one. Six six. Yeah, I'd say that that's the most common thing that the Nexus gate deck does is side out Nexus and side in RAM. I'd say that's that's what I like that's like their most common sideboard plan. Ah, I'm a survivor. Wow, okay. Yeah, this treasure is white mana. We're gonna get more treasures next turn. I'm picking him up. Yeah, we're not getting next turn. All right, I need all the bindings. Want all these cinder vines. Um, Settle's pretty good, too. Clarion and Coil don't kill stuff. Settle kills stuff. And so does binding. Um, yeah, I'm happy with all these. But we need to cut one card. I think, let's see, we're a 25 land deck. I kind of want to cut this Arch of Araska. I'm going to get 24 lands, then we have the Migrations, Treasure Maps. Yeah, actually, this kind of matchup, I think I want to cut Arch of Araska. Let's try that. After a sideboard, they can certainly win after binding a Krasis. Uh, for sure, after a sideboard. I, w I wasn't sure if, like, game one... Uh, well, they probably have, like, Expansion Explosion still, though. Yeah, they probably have Expansion Explosion. So probably even... Even game one, they... They probably would not have won us the game. I would be shocked if that was, like, their only way to deal damage. Yeah, they, they gotta have Expansion Explosion.
Yeah, I have a friend also from Texas, same thing, that if the opponent just plays Wilderness at all, they just concede and move on to a different match. Same kind of thing. Had a slow hand here. Which isn't great. Do you like having Vivian? Vivian should be pretty good, and I, I really like drawing that binding. Uh, the cat's name is Hawkeye. Yeah. Cat. Okay. So they've had amazing ramp again. Two really good ramp hands. No one knows the wilds um, like I do. At least this time. At least this time they don't have like that enchantment in place. So they're not drawing lots of cards. Playing all these gates. Go, Vivian, go. Mass manipulation is the card that we really just don't want to see. Anything else we may have an answer for. But mass manipulation we can't do anything about. Come to me. Alright, I'm just gonna take this thing out. Not let them have any more crises. So even if they had a backup crisis, it's gone. See if they have a nexus. Yep, they do. Last turn, I spent four mana on my Ixalan's binding. And that tapped us all but one mana. They just spent 14 mana. Wilderness Reclamation is pretty fair. Like, you may think Nexus is a problem here. It's really Wilderness Reclamation giving them all this mana. Where they get to, like, Guild Summit and tap out and then still cast a 7 mana spell. So like if they had expansion, if they have like explosion right now, they could maybe just kill us. Um, yeah, they could just kill us if they had explosion. Because of how much mana this gives you, they could just do it for 20. No, this isn't, this isn't teamer with them, is it? So a completely fair amount of mana. That's very reasonable. Hey, we have a uh, we have some subs coming out here from Morning Sun being um, a gifter here. 
So Santa Morning Sun. Thank you so much for gifting out five subs there. That puts us to 17 on the day, which gets us another pack. So let's crack open that Rivals of Ixalan pack. We wanted to check to see um, if we get, uh, if we do have the, the set for Rivals actually finished up or not. I guess that gives us 2-2, two, two, so we'll go ahead and, and uh, get our reward there. So we got our entry fee back there with Naya Dinos, but the opponent had a really awesome hand and my deck can't can't really compete with with that with the stuff they had there all right so let's check out this uh rivals of ixalan pack huh unable to get products pr please try again later all right maybe we can't actually get a pack right now Hmm. That's weird. So yeah, we didn't get to... Or like that, that last game, that last match was pretty tough, but... I mean, that's what, they, that's what their deck does. You know, like they had turn 2 Growth Spiral, turn 3 Double Growth Spiral. Uh, so by turn 3, they already had 6 mana... Um, their turn four, they, is that when they played like a really big Hydroid Crisis? Or maybe that was their turn five. Uh, one of those two. Something like that. And then, uh, by their turn six, their turn six is whenever they, I guess that was their turn five. So I don't know what they did on their turn four. Um, and then turn five, they played the really big Crisis. Turn six. They untapped with nothing and just played Reclamation, Guild Summit, plus Nexus, and then the next turn, another Summit and Nexus, and then two more Wilderness Reclamations, and then Explosion for 20. Um, so, yeah, couldn't uh, couldn't beat that with our, we had a slower clock, we had a, a more interactive hand and stuff. Um, Vivian was ticking up. That was our, our plan. It was like Vivian ult and, you know, it doesn't really matter when you, you, you can just explosion for 20. Oh, well. But Nine Dinosaurs is pretty fun. Um, it is pretty good against aggro decks with having the Deafening Clarions in here. And we saw that whenever we played against Model Red, how good Clarion was. How we get to take advantage of both modes of Deafening Clarion with this deck is really advantageous. So... So up next, we're going to have uh, Gruel Dinos. We're going to be playing some more Dinos. But we're going to be playing a lot more aggressive version of Dinosaurs with Gruel here in a little bit. Uh, but that's it for Naya Dinosaurs. If you are watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.